What's up everybody, it's Jaws the Brosif! And today the Brosif is playing a brand new Let's Play, a cool game that I have not played in a long, long time. Today we're playing Trains Railway Simulator 2004. It's an RN game from JustTrains.net, made in Great Britain with a lot of love and care and swag. This version actually started with steam engines, which is awesome, and is even officially licensed by the National Railway Museum of Great Britain. And today I am joined by my good buddy, Chris Does the Games. What's up, guys? I'm here too. Yep. Just make sure he doesn't break his computer again. Yeah. And uh, we'll be all good to go. So yeah. do something. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's see what they have to offer. Um, Ooh. This is the tutorial, which will teach you how all to right. drive a train. Sweet. So let's do that and go to work. All right. And because my computer's so fast, it's probably gonna load like a rocket. There we go. <laughs> Britain 2004 tutorial. Hello and welcome to the Trains Rail Ra Railroad Simulator 2004 tutorials. Wait, are we doing that now? Yes. All British accent? These right. tutorials... No. Mine's probably going to slip into Australian. <laughs> Just let me do my thing. <laughs> These tutorials are designed to give you the knowledge you'll need to enjoy TRS 2004. <laughs> like you in the north also... part of Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Swampert, I think, said that. <laughs> yeah. You can also find more Is detailed your... information in the TRS manual. We are starting in Britain today. On this map you will learn some basic train controls in DCC mode. You will also learn a little bit about how the industries work, the way bill system, and to finish off, deliver coal to the Radcliffe power station in order to keep it running. Yay. The first things... Okay, that's going to kill my voice. Learning to drive with the DCC control. Moving the dial clockwise will start the train moving forward, while moving it anti-clockwise... <laughs> Britain. Anti-clockwise... <laughs> counterclockwise will slow the train to a stop before making it move in reverse. You can click on the stop button to bring the train to a halt. Also here you will find the icons to sound the horn. Turn the train lights on and off, or raise and lower pantographs if the train has them. All right. Fortunately, we don't have a pantograph on this one, so right. I think we're going to be good. That one, it can be a pain in the ass, so don't worry about it. Waybill. Uh, new interactive industries require commodities to produce other commodities or services. When an industry requires a commodity, it produces a waybill. By clicking Ooh. on the waybill icon, you are able to see the witch... Indus the witch. We're the gonna see a witch. We're gonna see a witch, Joseph. Oh my gosh, the witch industries require or yeah, something got wonky Take there. Take out the word the. To see which industries require deliveries, in this case you will see that the Radcliffe power station requires a delivery of coal. Going to Harry Potter. We've got a coal train. Start your train moving now. Being careful to adjust your speed as necessary. Yeah, I don't uh, know what happened here. This might need to move over a bit, and I don't know how to do that or shrink my screen for that matter. Okay, let's look at the way bill. Radcliffe power requires 60, whoa, 651,600 coal. I'm going to assume that's tons. No, pieces. Or, wow. <laughs> I don't know. And then I got the help to view the driver, well, toggle the message, toggle map view. 651,000 cars. I mean, need to tweak, tweak my settings with this, because a lot of that is... <laughs> <laughs> I think H is also the one button. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's, uh... Power! Speed! Power! Oh, yeah. Look at us oh, going at wow. two miles an hour. Look at the, the graphics on this thing. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The speed limit's 40, so I better be careful. <laughs> speed limit. Oh, that's loud. Huh. <laughs> Tracking view! Tracking view! Yep, let's do external view, which we know tracking view is fun. Yeah, if it would lots even, of fun. If it would even work. Let's just stick with <laughs> external view for now. Can't even control this thing. Oh, there we go. Arrow keys. That's what that's for. Now that we are moving along, press the map icon at the bottom right of your screen or control M keys to open the map screen. From here, you can see the surroundings from a bird's eye view. You are able to zoom in and out and to plot routes to the various destination. Also, in this view, you are able to switch levers and select other trains. You will note that you will also have control of your locomotive in this view. <laughs> we went to Australia, too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, that's Sean. That's my driver hey, down there. Hey, Sean. That's my driver down that's there. That's the homie. And where in the world is my... Uh, okay, that's how you direct that. Can you do this at the edge of your screen, too? Oh, Western no, Deep Mine. I think we need to go to there first. Oh, and that's... That's switched properly. Okay. We are now getting close to the Western Deep Mine, and a speed sign is just ahead, reducing to oh shoot, 20 miles per hour. 
Start slowing down now in order to avoid getting over the speed limit. The tracks have been arranged to take you into the coal bay number four, so for now, take care to control your speed. Oh, it's a little bit fast. Um, each industry loads and unloads coal in a different or unloads in a different way, so you will need to adjust your approach uh, based on the industry type. The coal mine requires you to be moving around seven miles per hour. Oh crap! Because the speed limit's still fifty, you're far away from the coal mine. I know, but I, I'm trying to be safe. Unlike in your tricks. <laughs> Check that out. Link in the description. Uh, coal mine requires 7 miles per hour. As you pass into the coal chute, the coal hoppers will automatically load. So you just need to keep the train moving at the correct speed. If you are speeding, the hoppers will not be filled. Ah, oh, crap. Doom. I hate this part. Doom. 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 In fact, let's Doom. speed up just a Doom. tad. Doom. And then once we get to the Doom. coal bay, I'll slow down Doom. a little bit. Doom. English trains. <laughs> Seriously, that is a pretty cool horn, though. Okay, we're going a little fast there. You're Come breaking on. the speed limit. I know that. You're breaking doofus. the speed limit. Stop it. Thank you for calling me doofus. Sorry. <laughs> Force a habit sometimes. <laughs> Force a habit. Too slow. Oh, wait, never mind. I think we'll, we can mm. keep it here. Mm. Wow, mm. that's... Mm. Mm. I don't think Boom. I ever expected to see Boom. it with this good a quality. Boom. Boom. What does this do? Toggle me message. When this... We'll have to do a cut somewhere after this mission because I need to f fix something. Because I'm serious. This is not looking good. Um, That's how I play Game Dev Tycoon. A lot of the controls are off screen for me. And, well, not controls, but like... Information stuffs. Well, that's cool. So there are my controls. Which one is this for you? Oh, free roam. Yeah, I don't want to do free roam just yet. That's not going to be very good. Let me see. I can't even see some of my controls. That's panograph. Lights. Might even want to turn those on just to be safe. There we ah, go. There's lights. Lights during noon time. What's the uh, bottom right button? This one? No, in the corner of in that section of four. This is the bottom that's right. the horn. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So let's go to... External Let's view. go to external view. I gotta learn some of my controls. It's been a while since I've played this, like I said. So if you look here, watch this. Oh, I hear things. It's filling with coal. See? Oh, sweet. Wow. What Those. if you press shift while you use your arrow keys? Is that or control even? See if you can zoom. Yeah, I want to zoom, but I knew th I know you can. But um. Because I know that external view, you can get, like, bird's eye view of the engine, but mm -hmm. I don't remember how to do that. What if I click no? Okay. Okay, train's full of coal. Now what do I do? Let's go back up here some po a ways. Mm, train's all full? All the cars? Yeah. Okay. You now have a consistent full... A consistent... A consist. A consist full of coal. Thank you. <laughs> ready to be delivered to Radcliffe Power Station. If you were going too fast and some of your hoppers did not fill, you're going to have to back up and fill them. You can increase your speed once again one, again, once you have left the Western Deep Mine. And the switches have been adjusted in advance to make sure you don't get lost. Because we all know that that happens. <laughs> While your train is picking up speed again, open the map screen once more. It's important that you take the time to familiarize yourself with the screen as you will use it more often when you have multiple consoles to watch. Yes, that is a thing. Remember, you can adjust your train speed while you are in this view using the DCC controller, so you do not always need to switch back to the in-game view to maintain control. Can you find Radcliffe? Dun dun dun! Okay, I'm there. Arrow keys, arrow keys, dumbass. <laughs> Sherwood, Graveyard Junction, Paddock Bend, uh, Radcliffe Power. Ah. So we're going there. So we gotta go from here, down the line to here, and everything has been yep. switched for me. It's all good to go. So let's do this. More power! More power! And you Sweet can actually hear it. Power. You can actually hear it humming. Listen to that good old. Go ahead. Good old. Electric English electric power. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics though are so good like with like, this new computer it looks so cool oh snap 
Yeah, I tried that already. <laughs> Let me try this. Yeah, because some trains you can actually increase the sound of the horn. Alright, now I picked up some good speed. Oh, I better slow it down a little. 36, 37, 38, almost at speed limit. Passing speed limit. Oh god, oh god. Uh, you have to really take a moment to familiarize yourself with the view. While starting in the exter this external view, you can move the camera into almost any position you wish. In the top right hand corner, there are four buttons in a row, each of these representing a different camera. First is cab view, which will sit you inside the locomotive itself. Speed limit's 130. Holy cow. Increase your speed. I'm increasing it. Jeez. Increase your speed more. The first is cab view, which will sit you inside the locomotive. Second is external view that we started in. Third is tracking view, which moves you moves to different camera angles placed throughout the map. You're okay. almost at half of the speed limit. Oh, oh now the speed limit's going down. Almost hit some poor guy in his <laughs> car. Um... When a train comes within range, the camera focuses on the train as it goes by. You can place your own cameras around a map using Surveyor, giving you unique views of your train. That's pretty cool. Fourth view, free roaming camera that allows you to go anywhere on the map. Speed Navigate limit. around the map. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. This speed limit fluctuates quite a bit, doesn't it? Um, also, arrow icons that will take you to the next camera on the track. Could be a junction, industry, or even another train. Uh the top of the control panel, your current speed is displayed along with the speed limit and section of the track you're on. You should try to remain within the speed limit at all times As he passes so the speed that limit. you don't derail. To ensure your train doesn't derail. Which I have done before. Oh my <laughs> gosh, why why you gotta be so rude? Copyrighted songs suck ass. <laughs> well, they don't suck, it's just that, you know. Oh, that's a viaduct. Don't Viaduct. Buy a duct for, f buy a duct get another duct free. Ha <laughs> ha, the puns. Yep. Now approaching Redcliffe Power Station, so you will need to slow down again. Unloading at a power station is seven miles per hour. Oh jeez. You're going triple the speed limit. Yeah, I know. Slow so down. You're almost on. approaching the unload. I am slowing down. I'm not gonna do a dead stop if you think that's what I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, seven miles per hour. And simply move on through. The hoppers run over the unloading bay. The doors on the sides of the hoppers will open in, open, emptying the coal into the power station's reserve. So as the coal is delivered, you will see the reserve reserve of coal at the power station rise. Ooh, that'll be cool. So let's move over a little bit. So beautiful English electric, there. Mm -hmm. it's a beautiful engine. I love it. You're going about half the speed you should be. I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> Besides the look cool. You'll be able to watch this easier. Ooh. There we go. Fancy. So the coal comes out of the sides of the hoppers. Mm-hmm. And where is the... Oh, look, there's the coal reserve growing. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Rise from the underground. Rise. Ooh. Rise, you behemoth, rise. <laughs> That's what she said. Shout out. Hey. It's really cool. Yep. Now I gotta find some way to shrink this <laughs> to the screen. Because this is just, like, way too big. We'll figure it out next episode. Yep. Well done. Pass. Woohoo! You managed to deliver coal to Radcliffe Power Station, ensuring that the surrounding towns have plenty of electricity. You have completed the first tutorial, and there is plenty more to learn. Feel free to complete the return trip to the coal mine and complete another delivery. Proceed straight ahead, and you will return to the gold mine. When you have finished, press escape to return to the scenario launch menu. A dialog box will ask you if you wish to save your session, which you can do if you would like to return to this particular place in the map. Otherwise, click don't save, and you will exit out of the scenario. Okay. Does it have an option screen, though? doesn't. Where are my options? Yeah. Out of options. Whoa, geez, that's that's loud. Huh. Look at that electricity. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't even know what locomotive this is, but <laughs> if, I, if I knew, I would tell you. But uh, This was uh, Trains Railway Simulator. If you like this, please be sure to leave a like, and hey, don't do that. And Oops. drop a comment down below. And if you really like it and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
I love this. I love trains, and I hope you guys will um, enjoy playing with me as I drive. <laughs> you dirty mind. Poor word table. choice. Yeah. Poor word choice. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play this game and all that good stuff. Hey, look, a tunnel. We can end in the tunnel. Um, remember, I'm a broser to anybody that needs it. You need a hand with something. If you need, like, like someone to talk to because something bad happened, I'm here for you. I, I love to reach out to my fans and give them help with whatever they need. Who knows? I might even, like, um, give you the answer on air like this. Yeah. So, um, on air. Check out Chris's channel. Um, Chris does the games or Chris DTG, one of the mm -hmm. two. I recommend YouTube.com slash Mr. Chris DTG. There you it can is. Find the most recent content on that channel. Yep. Well, dropped a quarter. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, on the Brosif. On the Brosif. We'll <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye bye. You said you want to end in the tunnel and you're going like 35 miles an hour under the speed limit. Let's go. Go to then. the tunnel. Toot, toot. Thank you for being a broken 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 Ooh, there we go. that's cool. Yeah. Oh. I love trains. I like trains. Shout out to Tomsky. Oh yeah. How fast can this go? You wanna find out? Yes. Oh, oh that was reverse. There we go. It's a pretty fast locomotive to be honest. Uh-huh. Looks like we're still climbing. Yep. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> this is gonna hurt so much. Oh, we're good so far. Oh my gosh! I'll put this at the end of the episode. <laughs> this is the end of the episode. I know, but like at the very, very end. Oh, okay. Oh, I went up. <laughs> yeah, it'll be easier to control with um, other locomotives that have a different horn than this. Looks like we our our um, top speed is 89. The speed limit before is 130, so you got to go at least that amount. Yeah, I can't. Oh. This is as fast as well. We're going goes. uphill though. Well, anyway, let's stop the recording. <laughs>